I'm Wayne Judge from Adreno. I'm here to go over some of the C4 range this afternoon. Adreno is the only Australian stockage of C4s. Now C4 are famous worldwide for their carbon technology, carbon fibre. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is their fins. Now they are the top level of all carbon fins in the world. There's no doubt about it and they have been for many years. But we're not going to go over every fin, but we're just going to have a look at some of the, the, the features and, and how they can be of service to you. So you notice that we've got two real basic ends there. That one there is the falcon. And see how it's got a scallop in there. And this one here is the flap. And each one is uh, done that way for a very particular reason. The, uh, the scallop one here, this is more of a protection thing, okay? So that there is going to protect this here. And the, the carbon is very thin here, because as you can see, they're very thin, thin, flicky fins, you know? The carbon here is protected by the solid rubber on the outside. And that's basically, it's a, so it's a good, if someone's working around coral reefs and, and something like that, this is a, a, probably a good idea for them. However, if you really want to get the benefit out of your fins, we have the flaps. Now the flap technology is something that uh, C4 proclaim as theirs, is the fact that most fins work and they, they get their action going, but this section here, this last three or four inches, does not follow through on the undulation that rolls down the blade. And when you put the flap on the end, it brings this part into action. It now makes it able to follow through. So it gives that little bit of extra drive you would not have without the flap. However, as you can see, the flap is very thin and very vulnerable. So if you're around coral reef, it's probably gonna get chewed up a little bit. The thing about C4 carbon is how flicky, and responsive they are. Now, very often we hear, oh, you want to dive deep, get stiff fins. And this may have been true some years ago when the stiff fins were solid pieces of plastic. But that's not the case in these days. These days, you want to dive in such a way, or you want to kick your fins in such a way they get power. Now, you don't get power by going, big flick here and then down here. Not only are your limbs coming outside your body profile, but so are the fins. They come up now, boom. You get power by getting an undulation down the blade, like so. So it gets here, it comes to come out there. Before it comes out, you put a second movement in. And that's where you get your power from. So a good set of fins, you'll go deeper without them having to be stiff and hard. And that's what these are. You do need to kick in a different way. And most people think, oh, they try their carbon fiber fins on or then and give it a go and they feel like they're waving cigarette papers in the wind because they're used to playing a game of football when they're kicking with their big solid fins they if they don't have some pressure there they think there's something wrong but having spent time in the pool looking at distances how good the breath hold lasts things like that you miss out on the fact that if you get these working well for you they really they really do the trick most fins are there to get you a better breath hold. Not so much to fight a fish or something like that. That happens you know, every so often. But to get you a better breath hold. So you want economic C4s of those. Now one thing you'll look here is you'll see that there's some wide squares. And there's ones not so wide. Okay. So what they say with the, uh, the wide squares is there's less intersections. So every time there's a square there, there's an intersection. When you've got the wide ones, there's less intersections. And they also say that there's less undulations of the fibres. So in this one here, you've got about three times the amount of undulations as this one here. Uh, they proclaim in their uh, websites and that, that that gives more elasticity. And this is something that's uh, pretty new in their, their, um, in their range. And I would say... Uh, it bears up. They, they don't put anything out that isn't really well tested. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a K2... Gee, I'm not even sure. 
they've got the Scorpio right here and this one here. Okay, that is sort of similar to the flat technology, that same, that rounded end there. You've got the flap here, and then you've got the Falcon here. Okay, so let's start. this is the traditional Falcon, but once again, they've moved to the, the wide weave on this one here. They've also moved away from the, the large rails on all of them. See, these rails here, they're a standard length, they're, they're not that large. And one thing they've done <coughs> is they've made these compatible for most fin, uh, for most foot pockets. These fit straight into Mario's razors without a problem. So they're, they're great, including the holes. So it's a, a good thing on that. And then we come to the, um, uh, the fin that they get been well known for, and that's the Mustang. This is a Mustang fin. Now you can see they have these huge rails compared to the others, and they are renowned for this. Of course, the purpose of the rail is to take this water that's inside the rail and channel it down the fin so it goes off when you get the kick going, and that's the purpose of it. Uh, you know, every now and then you hear people say, hey, you won't be able to move your fin sideways in the water. You don't even notice it. It becomes so normal to you. But the amount of thrust you get from having a good set of rails is really quite incredible. Okay, these come with a foot pocket. And you notice it's a very sporty shoe and actually has laces. So they fit in here. Now the thing about the uh, Mustang is the Mustang has a 32 degrees. So that's so that when you're lying on, that's 32 degrees there, so when you're lying on the surface like so, with your foot sort of hanging down like that, the fin is straight. And this is just so important for your streamlining. Now, C4 started off in 1990 with 17 degrees. By 1996, they're down, they've gone up to 25 degrees. Most of these fins, in fact, all of these fins except this one, are now 20, 29 degrees. And the, flat, and the uh, Mustang is 32 degrees. So that's the, the, the major changes they've put in that. Now, known for their carbon fibre, they've also moved into plastic. And this is just probably a, a, a good plastic fin, there's no doubt about it. It has this thing, it's quite a flexi fin, it has the large rails and the comfortable foot pocket. So it's a, it's a, good, uh, a good foot pocket on that, a good, good system for that. Okay. Uh, do we want to go through a little bit about some guns? Let's have a look at the guns. We've got these guns in uh, pretty recently, and this is the first one everybody seems to notice. <laughs> and uh, the beauty of it is, it is carbon fiber, it's well balanced, well made. There's no, they're not glued together or anything. It's a, an entire molding process they have. And this one here is called Mr. Dark. And you can see, it hasn't got a spear on at the moment, and you can see it's got this huge large bulb here. And there's a reason for that. The entire concept of Mr. Dark is stability in the water. That's what this is about stability without losing your ability to track. The end's nice and fine. You, know, you add a few rubbers to this, it makes it some of the, the finest ends you can get on a sphere gun, but you've got this mass and this volume here. So you can have it fairly well powered up, but it's still not going to do some major kicking on it. And that's pretty much the, what that whole thing is about, is stability in the water. Comes the reel. C4 handle, you've got different sizes of this that are available. You've got a left and a right that's available. Looks rather strange until you put your hand on it and it feels pretty good. You know? Okay, move up to the next one. This is the graphite. And this is kind of like a, a fairly elegant gun. It's fine, you see that how fine it is through there. That's gonna track so easy through the water. Okay, it's got sufficient 
um, Space Surf will put two rubbers on it. And what makes, what is special about this gun is its track. If you have a look on the top here, its track is a flat surface. And it goes to the, the distance on the gun that the power, that the rubber power the shaft. The whole purpose here is not a, uh, what would you call it, a gouge or a U or something like that. So it has much less friction on the spear. The spear just sits on top of it and just shoots out. So uh, once again, it's C4, they wouldn't have done it lightheartedly. It's been tested. Okay. Yeah, because some people might be worried. I guess the whole idea with rail guns is they've got a bit of that rail. So, yeah, it's interesting that they've opted to just have a flat surface. Yeah, yeah. And being, it's 100% carbon, so it's like frictionless. Mm. So they're really after that smooth, completely um, fast shot there. Mm. Matt's just asked, sorry, Moa, Sam's just asked uh, what the cost of these guns are. You can find all the guns at spearfishing.com.au. And uh, if you go to brands C4, they're all around that. They're, they're all over a thousand dollars from memory. Uh, so yeah, they're they're not cheap because they are that fully molded carbon fiber fiber range. So you can check them out online to get all the exact prices. They do they do vary, but it starts around that that thousand dollar mark. Yeah, I think we've got a special going at the moment on some of these. Huh. Yeah, cool. Um, once again, this is the the larger graphite. The graphite one comes in three sizes. Mr. Dark comes in two sizes. There is an adjustable one. I don't have it here at the moment. It's one that you can increase or decrease the length on. Mm, from um, 95 to 110 or something? That's correct. At yeah. five centimeter increments. I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. that's brilliant. And so you, the idea is you might go away with uh, two spears, two sets of rubbers, and it's dirty water, or you, know, you want the short gun, you opt for one of them. It's mm. Two screws change the... Uh, the barrel length mm. and uh, a quick tool and you put the rubbers on on the top there and then if it clears up you can it's only a 10 minute job and you've got the, the other length of the gun yeah pretty versatile yeah. um judge what's the benefit of carbon guns over an alloy barrel or something do you do you know carbon guns are light generally and they don't flex if you get them too light they will of course but when you've got a solid amount of carbon, as in this here, they're not going to flex. They're not going to flex like a, an aluminium barrel. And look at this here. If you had an aluminium in that form there, it's not going to be very strong. Mm. Aluminium depends on that round. Mm. But this form here allows this thing to track so easily. Mm. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing us through that range of, of C4 uh, gear that we've got at Adreno now? My pleasure. I'm really excited about the fins. They, they're my favourite fins in the shop. Are you used them or you've used them before? I've used them and my son Ant, who's a, uh, a free diver, uh, he used them for years. Mm. You know, before he started making fins, that's what he used. What's the biggest difference that you notice between you know, a good fin that you really like and some that, that you don't like? The main difference is being able to get down to the bottom and have not be gassed mm. and have time there, you know. The fish take something like 40, 50 seconds, maybe a minute to get friendly and come up and say hi, you know. Well, you want to be able to go down. You don't want to get down there and all of a sudden go, oh, I've got to go straight back up. Mm. Well, that's fins. That's mm. fins and how to use them correctly. Mm. Beautiful. Cool. All right. Thank you for that, Judge. My pleasure. All right. Yeah.